call it High Temple Marawa TV, we call it Marawa Moments, and we've been breaking away. I think it's been an exciting week whereby uh, this time around, I think we haven't been to the Eastern Cape for a while, and we haven't touched base with this man in a long, long time. And uh, he's wearing the colours of his favourite club that turns 50 years old. Patko Mafani! Welcome, sir. How are you, champ? I'm good, champ. I'm all right, man. It's good to see you, and uh, thanks for welcoming me to the Marawa moment. Oh, man, it's, it's, it's about time. And you know, they go very quickly. I'm not even going to waste any time. You're wearing that jersey. You love that jersey. It's a club that you joined in 1999. And you know what? You had about, what, six years and one month in this club. How does it feel still to be a proud Kaiser Chiefs man? Well, the good thing about it is that I was a Kaiser Chiefs fan even when I was at school. So for me, it was a natural progression. It was not anything difficult. I mean, the pre-Naturena years of my life, the, the, the post-Naturena years of my life have been made easy by the fact that I've always been a club fan. I grew up admiring teenage Gladla, admiring... Um, Aysen Tueleng, you know, and Abo Sylvester Kole. These are the guys I used to admire and watch while I was still at school. So for me, really, it's been a natural progression, a very nice journey, you know. So th there's no hustle about it. And that's why, for me, there's no ending of the contract when it comes to the passion. You may end the contract, but you cannot end the passion, you know. Hey, but... Uh, but Okay, you talk about a contract. I was even going to ask you this, but now that you mentioned contracts, was I remember on that day when they ended it, and it was just for me an unbelievable moment. Um, I think it was the 4th of May uh, when the press release came out, um, and they said with immediate effect, there's a termination of contract. And I'm saying, what? Like, I couldn't believe it because you had become such an integral part and parcel of Kaiser Chiefs that you leaving was just not conceivable. Well, I think um, somehow, Mr. Marawa, there, there were changes in Naturena, which probably some of us, you know, who are not, who were in Naturena on merit. And not in Naturena because of any blood connection. And, and some of us really had to be sacrificed because um, there were people with the right blood who who also wanted to play a part in the growth of the brand. Some of them, together with uh, ladies like Amy and Vivian, Amy, who is Kalusha's uh, uh, um, wife wow. now, yeah. um, Amy Casaletti, and some of us really had, had played our part. We felt that, uh, you know, the people of the blood, the blood people who, need, who wanted to come in, we should give them space because it was, it, was, it was either that or it was going to be uglier and uglier and uglier. So I thought, ah, you know what, let, let, me, let me bow out in, in, in dignity because I had, if you remember, I was in your radio studios when I explained this to the listeners and I said, you know what, in cricketing terms, I have bettered the fours and the sixes in Naturena and I still walk out, not out. Because there was nothing really that, 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 that would be pinned against Pat Komafani as any wrongdoing. And that is why, you know, the fans, even unto this day, I don't know how many other people who, uh, who were appointed to sort of try do my work, who got in there, you know, I've, I've lost count. And even now, supporters even call me when they want to know about club matters. They phoned me. And I said, I said, but guys, I'm no longer involved. They said, no, man, nobody comes to us anymore. You know, supporters, supporters, and you can't fool supporters because supporters knew exactly that it was not only about the Kwasa Kwasa. It was not only about traveling with the team. Supporters knew that this is the man who came to our community when we did not have a Kansas Chiefs branch and opened a branch for us and taught us the essence of going to the stadium. Because supporters knew, they knew that Mafani stood for at least five things. Have a supporters card, 
go to the games, particularly home games. If you're far away and you cannot come to a home game because you're in Cape Town or because you're in Swaziland or Khabarune or Maseru, all those places that are peripheral, that are very far away, if you cannot, at least when we play a cup final or when we play the Soweto Derby, I need to see a delegation from your branch. They knew that. So getting to Naturena, with about 80 branches that the great Louis Chakwane had built over his 14 years. And I go there and I take from where Louis had left with 80 branches and I build the branches until they are 330. Having traveled around the country, and this is the part, Rob, that, that, that made my heart melt. Meeting the supporters right where they stay, getting into unentered areas, Getting there and finding out, is there a chief's branch here? They say, there's no branch here. I said, by the time I leave, we will have a branch here. We will have an executive committee of supporters branch because I want you guys to be organized. And that is what I loved most, you know. So unfortunately, when, when the contract ended, you know, I could, I could feel there's nothing that is as bad, Robert Marawa, even in a love relationship. There is nothing that is as bad as sticking around when you see that you no longer want it. Bob, thank you so much for your time. All I'm going to give you to close, because I'm going to be in trouble if I don't allow you to emulate the great Dumile Mateza, uh, where we incorporate um, Mongi Khula, and uh, we take a little trip to the mortuary. Uh, I, I, I would be, I would, I'll not be right, man, because you're, you're, you're a Hall of Famer, Radio Hall of Fame 2014. MTN Radio Hall of Famer, Pat Komofani, 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, I leave the final word to you, sir. You've got 15 seconds to give me that beautiful commentary. Yamazi Mambi is a nest dam number one, Umongilona. Can't do that, Akena, Ungabi, Unemochari, Icona, and the mistake, Unebuchari. Patka Bafadi, love your energy, love your mind, love a lot of things about the human being that you are, sir. Keep inspiring. It is Marawa Moments on Marawa TV. And the one thing that I've always been fascinated about is that, okay, everybody's frustrated that football is not happening or sports is not happening globally. Uh, but what about South African fans? You know, one of the biggest fans of Orlando Pirates who's been attending games, I think, since the age of about two. Or maybe I think he just walked out of the maternity ward and straight into a football field. Vossi Duba! So, champion. Sometimes I get I hear you to learn a little bit void and nil. So, Tala Panty for our by Kenny Zen. I'm going to achieve the total as a Tata Ikil on a dozen years. He stalked on Jay. He pitches Eras Pizif. Eras Pizif. A stand bonnet up about number one from, you know, he is the Kikala. They say Iba, who number five, he lick my pen, Maxella Mate, my two. So, this is not Kalu Bonangai, General Coronel Stalu born. Yeah, so uh, I okay, you don't say uh, I'm our officials like Abu, I'm our officials with PSL president, but decided that thing. So I'm happy because if you don't, you don't say I'm our officials, which I want to make his achieves. So I want to make his achieves, they can say whatever you know, Musa, they're always living. We learn, we we wish, they wish everything, mm. and they don't deserve it. Well, yes, they were number one. Number one, you are just a leader. You are leading. You lead. Anyone can lead. That's why when you pass in form, you know, you know, my paper, you know, 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 you
So it has achieved the yeah, eye. They will dream. But unfortunately, my friend, this is not France. About France, they deserve it. About Liverpool, I'm sure they deserve it. Look mm. at the league, Kodam. The league, it's only, it's, 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 they only lead sometimes, I'm sure, at two points. So not to call now, but in a few games I'm surprised because of a map and new as good in the corner village. Our culture, all on the pirates, who good I'm a record, pretend I'm a record. I'm told they leak the way it is. As I told you, who good tea, Mandy, the green scat, so good to see your presenter, Ilona, illegal say to the side. So you conquer Africa, but land the let's in about Santa, Santa this land the Nile because at you. So man, you get up and down, but you are confident. You are not going to achieve the medal. It will be a champion. You are not achieve the medal. It will be stopped. We are told. It is stopped. We are told with the merit. We should take a risk still. As long as you are still at risk, we are still at risk. Whether you wear the mask, you are in a corner, the atmosphere, the people are there. You are in a corner, the people are there. We are Kulule, we are inside everything I have. We are in Naginja Bulung Yasbon, Nitola. We are in Tabula, 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 we are All right, another episode of Marawa TV. Welcome to Marawa Moments. And one thing, a lot of people always ask me, how did you get into the industry? What was it that motivated you to be in the industry? Uh, who was that one person that led you to want to be a sportscaster? And I always say, I'm very consistent with this. I used to sit on the farm, hardly had proper television. We had these aerials that were completely messed up, but you could see images and you could hear the voice and there was Martin Locke. And you know what? He's here on the show today. I had to track him down because whether he likes it or not, I'll always be that pain, that person that says, Martin, you paved the way, you made it happen, you inspired me, and here you are down in Stellenbosch. Happy belated birthday. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, it was a great honor for me to find you, and I'd love to tell that story because I think that's better than my story. So I'm going to start with that. Because I was, I was in, a, in a studio, and uh, Lady Di was in another studio. Do you remember Lady Di? Yes. And we, were, we had about 80 to 100 new people trying to get onto television. And suddenly I heard this voice, and I, I just pressed my button down so I could get through to the other studio and control room. I said, Di, what's that? who's that? Who's that? What's this voice now? I want to know who that is. She said, oh, it's some uh, Mariwi or Mawara or something. <laughs> I don't know. But what do you, why? He says, big, big sort of guy, nothing impressive. What are you talking about? I said, he's mine. I want that guy. I want that voice. I want to see him. He must stay behind afterwards. And that's how it started. It's a lockdown. It is Marawa TV. It is Marawa Moments. We're going to be heading down to Port Elizabeth this time around. And why are we going to PE? Now, you might ask yourself a couple of questions, but you know what? I always wanted to chat to Rolando Mkwen about all sorts of things. My name is Robert. He might read stuff by another Robert. It might be Robert Green. Who knows what he reads, this man. Welcome to the show, Mr Mkwen. Thank you, Big Rob, and thanks for having me. Finally, I'm, uh, I'm honored to be on Marawa TV. Thank you so much. My honor. You still owe me a longer version of the interview. It's Marawa moment, so we cut straight to the chase here. When, when I mention the, the name Robert Green, I know you read a lot, though. You are an avid reader of something, uh, 48 laws of something or another. Of, 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 of what is it? Of, is it power? I don't know. You tell me. 48 laws of power. There's 48 laws of power. Uh, I, I subscribe to a lot of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't always agree with, with, with all of them, but that's, that's just the way I am. I'm, I'm extremely inquisitive and I don't take things as, as, as written down. I try to read, of course, to, to increase my capacity and uh, knowledge and, and go beyond 
different uh, uh, themes, different uh, understandings. I go, I go beyond football. People say, but I read a lot about football, but I go into psychology, I go into religion, I go, I go into science. Now I'm reading so much about uh, coronavirus and epidemics and all those things. So, so that's the reality is that uh, I try very much not to, to restrict myself into one space and one scope. And, and when, you, when you've got that whole 48 laws of power, uh, because at times you've got to understand that power, it's about gaining power, uh, it's about losing power, it's about preserving power, it's got so many different dimensions to it. What for you is that intrigue and that drive towards knowing and understanding? Because at some point you'll be in power, at other points you'll be empowering other people. I think... I think that's that's a that's a great uh, way of looking at at uh, at power. There's 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 the power that um, that that drives a bit of uh, if you if you if you speak from a more negative side, where there's there's a there's a famous saying that power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely, um, and that's 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 when people are are, are driven by self and, and, and driven by their own need to, to emancipate themselves onto other people. But the, the reality also is that um, you can have power and that power is driven by your, your desire to serve, your desire to, to, to lead and uh, to, to, to be in power so that you can, you can help other people to, to succeed. And I think for me, I'm, I'm, I'm in that space where I try to, to empower myself so that uh, I can I can be a trailblazer and and hopefully give opportunities and and some form of support to those that uh, that that need that need that that form of support at that particular phase of time. At at what point do you find that you get tested the most when it comes to coaching? Comes with the level of power, and a lot of people will be thinking, hmm. Actually, Rolani went to some team that has quite a few players that are quite old. I mean, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Lenki is 35, Tinyev is 34, whether or not they're still there, Khamaldin 31, Rachel 30, Mashaba 31, and you 33. And then you've got to come through and be the coach. Now, they're probably used to some older version, or at times even a European version of old, that is teaching them or helping them harness their skills as footballers. Do you find, though, that in an environment like that, you get heavily challenged because sometimes people don't take lightly to the age factor? Um, you know, that also brings me also to, to, to the way I, I approach things and I look at things. Uh, I, I, I tell you that uh, had I not, one of the, one of the other things that I'm, I'm, uh, I'm big into now is Stoicism. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a religion, but a philosophy. It's an ancient Greek and Roman philosophy that uh, Mandela subscribed to, Malcolm X subscribed to. In fact, uh, it's, it's one um, religion that came through and the book call, is called Meditations, uh, written by Marcus Aurelius. But it's, it's an old, old old philosophy, uh, I think it was in the 1800s, if I'm not mistaken, where uh, when, when Nutata Nelson Mandela was in prison, he read the book, I mean, uh, several times, he speaks about the book in, in, his, in his biography and autobiography, Long Walk to Freedom. Um, uh, Malcolm X, when he was 20 years old and he was put in, in, uh, in prison, he read the book. And, uh, and at the time he was extremely, he was full of anger and, and, and resentment because uh, he was on, and they say allegedly found guilty for for burglary, which which he felt was was something that he, he had not committed. But um, he read he read the book, and it and it and it is said that uh, the reason why he started wearing glasses, Malcolm Malcolm X, was because he he used to creep into into small parts of his prison cell, the door, and when they would say ten o'clock lights out, he would still read the book in the dark. And he'd have a dictionary next to him where he would, he would try and find, I struggle also with the meanings of some of the words because they're so, they're so, they're huge, you know, they're bombastic words and words that I never thought existed, you know, but, um, but you also increase your capacity, your vocabulary also improves and, and part of that, but just a basic understanding. And, 
and, and part of the virtues are, are having wisdom. One of the, the key cardinal virtues of, of Stoicism is, is wisdom. And, and, and the other being courage. Of course, wisdom in the sense that they explain it as, as, as understanding the good, the bad, expecting the bad, but understanding that there, there is some of the bad that is not within your control. And some of the things that, uh, like your reputation and how people see you, those are things that are, are, are beyond your control. So when I, when, I, when I go into an environment like Chippa United and I, and I see the, the, the experienced players and, and, and ultimately the players that uh, you, you speak about who, who probably are within the same sort of age, age gap, you then, you then say to yourself, can I control that? Can I control their perception of me, how they see me, how they, how they look at me, whether they judge me on my age or my competence? I can't control that. What I can control are my skills, my, 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 my attitude towards my work, my, my, my work ethic, uh, and the quality of my coaching. That I can control. And then you start to focus more on, on the things that uh, you can control because that brings a little bit more more happiness and that's and that's one of the key things with regards to stoicism is is inward happiness inward control of of the things that you can control and trying your level best to 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 be at peace with those things mm -hmm.